Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and today in this video we will be seeing one of the advanced rag techniques of BM25 and Ensemble Retriever okay so BM25 Retriever is, is one of the advanced rag techniques and the another one is Ensemble Retriever okay so let's understand what is BM25 Retriever okay so uh, in advanced rag you must have heard about uh, corrective rag, self rag parent document retriever, hypothetical document retriever. So along with these BM25 is also one of the retrieving techniques and it takes help of BM25 algorithm. BM25 algorithm is a very popular ranking based al uh, algorithm which is used in search engines. It, take, it takes help of concepts like term frequency, inverse document frequency, and on the basis of that, it calculates BM25 score for the document on the asked question by the user. BM stands for best match. Okay. So it's best match 25 retriever. Okay. And because this retriever is a, is a keyword based retriever and generally in RAG, we use vectorized based retrievers where you vectorize a query, do a semantic search operation and the documents are retrieved to you. Now, if you want to have both these capabilities together uh, in your retriever, you, you can use Ensemble Retriever where you can use a vectorized retriever, let's say Fez or Chroma, and you can use a BM25 retriever, set your weights and use both of them together. Okay. So let's, so let's get started. First, we'll be seeing BM25 retriever, then, and then at last, an Ensemble Retriever. Okay. So your I've, I'm installing all the required packages. I'm using Langchain for uh, building the rack pipeline, uh, Hugging Face Hub, OpenAI for like I'm using uh, OpenAI's model for embedding the query into vector, uh, Google search results, uh, Tick Token for tokenizing, Chroma DB, Rank a BM25 library for for implementing the BM25 algo, taking help of BM25 algo and fast CPU. Okay, some of some of them are uh, uh, the extra installations which are there, but uh, not not all of them are used. Okay, so here I'm uh, so I've set my OpenAI key in my secrets. Okay, and from here I'll be accessing my OpenAI key. Okay, so here the Langchain version being used is zero point one point fourteen. Let's see what it shows, huh, 0 0.1.14 and here some not so important code at last huh, will come to our retrievers. Okay, so this is just uh, some of the installations. I'm importing BM25 retriever and Ensemble retriever. Okay, Chroma document open AI embeddings. Okay, and, and this is my documents list. Okay, so these are my documents here in this example. My favorite sports is cricket. My favorite player is MS Dhoni. MS Dhoni is an investor too. Football is a popular sports and hockey is a national sports of India. Now let's see how BM25 Retriever can be used. So here I'm, I'm creating a BM, BM25 Retriever object by passing all the document list to it. Okay. So and here I've kept the K value as 2. So what is this K value? What happens is for each of the document on whichever query you send, like here if you see here the query sports, okay. So for whichever query you send, it will be retrieving back just two of the most similar documents, hence the k value two, okay. And how is this two similar documents are being calculated? It is being calculated with the help of this BM25 score formula, okay. For each of the document. For this query of sports, a BM25 score is calculated and the most similar ones are returned here. Okay. So here we can see that it takes help of term frequency, inverse document frequency, and this K and B are tunable parameters. Okay. If you want to know more about how BM25 algorithm works, just do a simple Wikipedia search and you will have a detailed article on how it how it works internally. Okay. Now the next what we'll be seeing is we will uh, be seeing Ensemble Retriever. Okay, for using Ensemble Retriever, let's let's first use any vectorized based re uh, retriever. So here I'm using I'm taking help of Chroma library. Okay, 
doing the same operations uh, pushing all the documents into chroma vector store okay and here i'm creating my retriever object okay and here you can see some test results for sports query are they the same you can see that bm25 uh, gave me hockey is a national sports of india as the best similar one for this query while uh, chroma retriever is telling football is the most popular sports as the best one okay it depends on like because the internal technique is different here it is euclidean or cosine based similarity search and here we have is uh, keyword based bm25 score formula calculation okay at last we have ansible retriever where what we'll be doing is we'll be taking help of both these retrievers bm25 and chroma both of them and i've set the weight as 0.5 and 0.5 okay and here we have the results so here we are taking help of both the retrievers together somewhat similar to the ensemble techniques of random forest okay somewhat similar to that okay so so this was a short tutorial on the advanced rack technique of bm25 and ensemble retrieving okay so if you learn anything helpful do give it a like and uh, do check other videos i have made a lot of videos on the rag on pine cone and other uh, generative ai concepts and stay tuned to as for more such amazing tech stuff take care peace out